so hello everyone welcome back to this channel and you're watching kumataya so guys in this video i'm going to talk about very important concept which has already appeared in the exam so i guess uh, you should be till the end so that you can see because in the uh, in the latest video of mine i discuss similar type of question but in this video i'm just going to take one additional add on in this one because i think already the question has come in the exam so now that additional thing can come in the exam which i already discussed in the very first lecture where i was discussing about the theory part of variational principle so i guess without de delaying we should just see how that question looks like and what is the additional thing which i'm talking about which i already discussed in the last video so let's just see what that question looks like so i can see if that question comes from variational principle this type of question can seriously come in the exam so just pay attention over it so this question is a trial wave function used in sho so sho system is there okay i'm talking about this third question so a trial wave function used in sho which is this so this trial wave function is this e raised to power minus c x square and i told you that uh, don't expect that always alpha will come or alpha x square or beta will come anything can come they can give z also they can give c d anything like they can choose any alf uh, alphabet or any greek letter so don't get confused so it was used and uh, energy value was obtained so this trial wave function was used and its energy was calculated like this in terms terms of this which is h cut square c by 2m plus m omega square by 8c so you need to find out the minimum value of energy that was obtained by variational principle and these are the options so you need to find out basically e minimum energy e minimum so basically energy you need to find energy and minimum energy means don't get confused that what is minimum energy minimum energy means the system is if the if any system has minimum energy means that is in most stable form clear so basically you need to find e like energy of this trial wave function what can that be and options are h cut omega by 2 h cut omega and h cut omega by 4 and 2 h cut omega so now you must be confused how to solve this so uh, before proceeding ahead like in the last video i talked about like energy was given and you needed it to find out the value of variable like variational parameter but now in this video you can see you need to find the value of energy itself already it is given you like you must be thinking lot of you must be thinking that energy is already given so like how to find energy again but it has been given in terms of c and here you can see this uh, like here you can see this is not in terms of this uh, uh, c right so that means this c has to be removed from the final equation how that c can be removed if we know the value of c right so how can we get to know the value of c so for that we have to put the whole energy equal to 0 clear for that we have to put the whole energy equal to 0 and uh, then only we can find out the value of c clear so let's just see first and i have the solution with me and just see how the solution goes and everything goes so this is the solution and i hope it is clear to you visible basically so this is the trial wave function and this is the energy and you need to find e minimum so i told you you need to find first the value of c first find out find value of c and for that what you have to do you have to put this whole equation equal to z sorry first you have to differentiate it with respect to c variational parameter and then you have to put it equal to 0 clear so you have to put it equal to 0 so what you will do you will just differentiate it with respect to c so let's see how things go ahead so you are differentiating it with respect to c and it is it is equal to 0 so if i just take this thing so it would be so i am writing over here i hope this things are clear to you so this everything is constant h cut square by 2m so the only thing remaining will be this del c by del c plus uh, m by m omega square by 8 and it would be del c by del 
uh, c if i write over here like c if i just write it in numerator it would be c minus 1 right so that's how things will be there so if you just differentiate it this will get cut out it would be h cut square by 2m and this thing will be like uh, if you differentiate 1 by c or c minus 1 it will always be this like for people who belong to bio background i'm writing over here first power will come like this m omega square by 8 first power will come then whatever thing is there you will write it and then you will just mi do minus 1 from that suppose it was minus 2 c minus 2 so you will just differentiate it like this minus 2 c and minus 2 minus 1 just just subtract minus 1 from the power whatever is given and just put don't forget to put power in front right so that's how you'll differentiate this was for like this was a small demo for bio students and uh, other student i hope like these things must be very very easy and you must be very quick in this so just write over here it is h cut square by 2m and it would be minus m omega square by 8 and it would be c minus 2 so minus 2 means i can write this thing over in denominator also like this minus 2 will become plus 2 and that's how this thing came this is h this is same h cut square by 2m minus m omega square by 8 c square clear so this thing i have differentiated it so it it was easy to differentiate so my next step is to find out the value of c so how can i find out that value of c for that i have to put it equal to 0 so let's just put it equal to 0 yeah so it is h cut square by 2m is equal to m omega square by 8c square this was the expression now i just equated it equal to 0 so it is coming out like this so it would be uh, if i write over here c square would be uh, m omega square 2m by 8 h cut square clear so it would be m square and omega square by 8 h cut square clear so this is the thing and it is again 2 so if it will be 4 so if you will take you need to find out the value of c for value of c you will take under root of it so it square root of it it would be m omega and 4 it is 2 and it would be h cut and this value is matching with this so it c value comes out to be m omega by 2 h okay so you all must be thinking that okay now we got the value of c what we have to do next so since we have found out the value of c now the next step is is to put the value of c in the in the formula of energy like what value which we have got over here like this i got this value over here i'll put this value in this energy formula and then i'll be able to get the formula of energy not in terms of c right so okay i got uh, this c is equal to m omega by 2h cut clear so and this was the energy formula it was given already and now i'll what i'll do i'll just put the value of c over here so it would be h cut square i'm writing over here by 2m and c is m omega by 2h cut clear so just write down everything first and whatever you have to put the value in just put it in last so that uh, and like nothing gets missed out right so you just put it and then plus m omega square by 8c so 8c means m omega would be here and 2h cut would be in numerator so if i just this m and m will get cancelled out and this h cut h cut would be like this and it would be uh, h cut by h cut omega by 4 and then plus this m and m will get cancelled out this is omega and it would be 4 and it would be again h cut omega by 4 so 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 it would be 1 by 2 h cut omega so this is my value and just let's see that which option it matches with uh, okay so it is half h cut omega clear so my minimum energy is coming out to be half h cut omega and it is matching with the very first option you can see so a is the correct answer so for that for these type of question you have to do like this like first 
put the put just differentiate energy with respect to variable variational parameter put it equal to zero find out the value of variational parameter and then just put the value of variational par parameter in the formula of energy and then you will be good to go to find the value of energy and here comes your four marks already served in a plate right so that's how the, that's easily you can get those uh, four marks and quantum is very easy guys if you just uh, if you just uh, try to get the concept is very easy and it can get you marks uh, like very nicely very easily and in less time clear so if you have any doubt this was the last lecture of variational parameter so if you have any doubt you can leave your query in the comment section any doubt anything uh, you can uh, i can entertain your queries in the telegram group also i have group there you can join that and apart from that i'll be uh, I'll be starting with a new topic from the next video. So that is going to be linear variation parameter or uh, uh, Huckel molecular orbital. Let's see like what suits best, best for now. So I think that's it for this one. I'll see all of you in the next one with a new topic. Till then, bye. Take care and keep smiling. Bye.